Hello and welcome. This is World of Wastewater. This is part six. Hey, I need a quiet in here. I'm recording. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize you were recording. But aren't they tired of listening to you anyway? Move over. What do you mean? Don't you have a pump to clean? Yeah. So go do it. Wow, this is such a toxic workplace. Hello and welcome. This is World of Wastewater. This is part six in a series going over a wastewater exam, which you can find a link to in the description. If you're following along, these questions are numbers 26 through 30. If you think that guy has sludge breath, hit like and subscribe. And with the introductions out of the way, let's get started. Employee hazards include which of the following? A, toxic gases or vapors, B, physical injuries, C, oxygen deficiency, or D, all of the above. The answer is D, all of the above. Safety is everyone's job at a treatment plant. When it comes to any work being done, no matter how routine, safety cannot be overlooked. Your employer is responsible to make sure that necessary measures are in place to avoid injuries and to provide adequate PPE, and it's your responsibility to follow those protocols and wear your PPE. What bacteria are responsible for stabilizing sludge in an anaerobic digester? A. Notobacter B. Photosynthesizers C. Methanogens D. Oxidizers The answer is C. Methanogens. Methanogens play a vital role in anaerobic environments by removing excess hydrogen and fermentation products that have been produced by other forms of anaerobic respiration. If you look at the on-screen graphic, you can see they play the final part in digesting sludge. The two types of RBC drive mechanisms are A. Centrifugal and mechanical B. Mechanical and air C. Air and brake horsepower D. Hydraulic and centrifugal The answer is B, mechanical and air. RBC stands for Rotating Biological Contactor, which is a biological fixed film treatment process used in the secondary treatment of wastewater. It consists of a series of closely spaced parallel discs mounted on a rotating shaft that's supported just above the surface of the wastewater. Microorganisms grow on the surface of the discs where biological degradation of the wastewater pollutants takes place. Most systems nowadays use a mechanical drive to rotate the media. However, some use a combination of both. Air can be useful to help with the sloughing process, which is when the biofilm falls off the media and is necessary when wasting must be increased. Which of the following are waterborne diseases? A. Scarlet fever and pneumonia and chickenpox. B. Mumps, measles, and colds. C. TB, diphtheria, and chickenpox. Or D. Typhoid, dysentery, and cholera. On screen, I've listed symptoms associated with each of these diseases. An unfortunate side effect of this work, as you may already know, is that sometimes sludge or water splashes in directions you can't control, and it may end up where you don't want it to go, like on your face or in your mouth. The majority of the time, this only leads to a brief stomach bug that passes in a day or two. But if you ever feel sick for more than a couple days, it's in your best interest to seek professional medical help. The good news is that these can all be successfully treated with IV fluids and antibiotics. A pump's impeller needs to be replaced. What is the first action you should take? A. Notify your supervisors. B. Tell other operators not to turn on the pump. C. Disconnect the circuit breaker, put a tag on it, and lock the breaker out. D. Turn on the pump. The answer is C. Disconnect the circuit breaker, put a tag on it, and lock the breaker out. I hope that one of the first things you're trained on at your treatment plant is the importance of lockout-tagout. 
You must never work on equipment until it is de-energized and only you have the power to turn it back on when work is finally complete. Failing to do so can lead to severe injury or death, with many a finger having been lost this way. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then check out the others on this channel. If you want to leave a tip to help us make more great content for operators, there's a link to the World of Wastewater PayPal in the description. See you next time on World of Wastewater.